And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell, and today we're taking a look at a game called Dice Fishing. And this, you are fishing for fish with dice. Uh, I guess the dice represent your hooks and lures and all that thing. Basically, it's a kind of a betting game, except you're betting dice. How few dice do you need to roll to get a certain number? I like betting like this. I like rolling dice. I like to eat fish. Let's take a look. Okay, so you can see here that there is a ton of dice involved in this game. Uh, but each player is just going to take the dice that are their color. So you're going to get five six-sided dice, one ten-sided, and one twenty. Each player is going to be getting that same amount of stuff. You're going to have a shield here that you're going to be putting your dice behind. Now, each turn of the game, you're going to turn over one of these 15 cards in the middle, and it's going to tell you at the top, how many points the card is worth, that's how many hooks are there. It's going to tell you the number that you need to roll equal to or higher than, and it's going to tell you what numbers you need to roll, a 3, 4, or a 5. So that one's worth a lot of points. This one here is worth 5 points, and all your numbers need to be different, and they have to be over 15. This one, you just need to have numbers over 7. Let's pretend this is the one that's out first. So each player is going to secretly pick how many dice that they are willing to do. And they're going to reveal them at the same time. So let's pretend that black puts out two dice like this. Green puts out two dice. Yellow puts out three dice. And red puts out one die. All right, so who gets to go first? Well, red gets to go first because they put out the fewest dice. Uh, if red fails to catch the fish, then it's going to go down to green and black. They both have two dice. But since black didn't use any of the special dice, the 10s or the 20s, they would go first, then green, then yellow. So here red just simply has to roll, get a 7 or higher, 15, they caught the fish. Boom. No one else got it. But if they had failed, let's say they had rolled a 5, then it would be black's turn, 7 or higher. Black rolls a 6, they fail. Green rolls. Green gets a 9, green gets it. So that's the basic rules of how things work. If you use a special die, which all three of these players did, you have to set them outside your shield and you can't use them till next turn. Also, if you use a special die, instead of using the number on a die, if it's an odd number, you can re-roll your other dice once. If it's an even number, you can re-roll your other dice twice. So, uh, let's say, for example, we did a much harder one here. 15, and all your dice have to be different. At this point, uh, maybe red would bid these two, green bids this, black bids these, and yellow bids the same numbers. Okay, so we have the same thing. Red goes first, so they need 15, and all the numbers need to be different. A 14 and a 4, boom, they got it. Uh, let's say they failed, a 4 and a 4. Not only are the numbers not 15, they're not equal, so then we look. Green and yellow both have three dice, but green has more of the six-sided, so green would go first here. Green rolls a six, an eight, and a two. Sixteen. Boom. They got it. And that's pretty much how it goes. Now, if some, now you might be wondering, what if two people do the exact same thing? Well, in that case, they both roll the same number. They, they roll at the same time. And if they both succeed, whoever is closer to this number is the one who actually gets the fish. So you can see there's all ones here is a 17, and you need at least one. A nine, a 17, two of them have to be the same. A 5, a 7, there has to be at least one 5, at least one 6, a 2, 3, and a 4. All your dice are different. A 2, two 4s, and a 1. The game also comes with a freshwater expansion, which you might as well use with some more cards. Here they all have to be odd or even. You need a 6, period, just one 6. A 6 and two threes, A 6, 1, 2, and a 3. And here all your numbers have to be prime. You can also play with the lure ability where you can use your 10 sided and 20 sided to modify your other dice. But that's pretty much it. Once all the cards are gone, whoever has the most points is the king of the fishers or king of dice fishing or something like that. Of course, in any game with dice, I'm gonna wonder how good are the dice. These dice are fine. They're solid, they're easy to see, easy numbers, good dice. The cards are okay. I'm, I'm a little, 
curious as to why they decided to go with this really brown. I mean, the, the pictures are great, and the the rule book comes with, you know, it tells you what all the fish are so that you can know exactly what the kinds of fish are in this game. But it's just the whole thing feels so muted. I don't know why they couldn't have used beautiful color pictures of these fish. I think that would have helped the game a lot. You know, the box itself doesn't look that exciting. And I feel like that's going to hurt the game a bit because it just doesn't look that exciting. The cards are okay quality. I really feel like it was a mistake that this box looks so absolutely boring. It's unfortunate because I think a lot of people are going to pass it by. I also think there's a few other mistakes made in this game as in they have these there's 15 fish and then there's these extra fish. Why were those why is that an expansion? Just throw it in the game. And in fact, why was there not like 30 fish and you just use 15 in any given game? So many more different variety. It seems like they really missed the ball there, but they could add a whole lot more cards. In fact, this almost feels like it was designed as a micro game and then expanded, but I would add it a lot more cards, a lot more different fish, just to keep things different. You know exactly what fish are gonna come up and it's not as interesting when that's happening. That being said, the actual bidding on the fish with the dice, that's a pretty cool concept. I really like the idea of, hmm, I need an eight. Do I use two six-sided dice? Do I roll the 10 and hope for the best? Do I roll a 10 and a 6 out of die? Because that feels pretty good. You know, what are you going to do in any given situation? And you're trying to outbid the other players. You always get your other 6 sided back. You could bid a whole pile of dice and say, you know what? I feel like this round, everybody else is going to fail. And then I'm just going to get it with my big roll. But maybe someone will get lucky. Now realize, because of this, the game can be super lucky. I can go, I need a 10. I'm going to roll my 10 side die. Got it. Everyone else like, are you kidding me? That was super lucky. You're right. But Super Lucky can still equal fun, and this game is not that long of a game. So despite the fact that it looks boring and I wish they had more cards in it, it is a really fun little game. It, the fishing theme works to some degree, but it's kind of just that, at, am I going to use these dice? When do I use my 10 and 20 sided? Because every time I use them, you can't use them the following turns. So you have to be careful about that. And just trying to outbid other players and roll things. Uh, there's one or two of the fish cards, which there's symbols on them, where you can steal stuff from other players, make someone else discard stuff. Eh, again, they could have cut that. But for the most part, I really like the idea. And as a small little filler type game, something to do between others, I enjoyed this a lot. So that's dice fishing, roll and catch. Or if you're like me, just roll, because I didn't catch very much. Dice Tower Judgment, approved!